I'm Sir Tap, Tap and let's play the Visual Out demo. This is a demo of a game <coughs> that'll be coming out. The demo will be coming out November 10th. Not 100% sure when I'll be able to post this video. Um, this is originally a Litum Dare game. Yes, it was, Parker. And I just want to read this sentence that describes it if Parker would get out of the way of my monitor. There we go. As an escape program, traverse different sectors of an obsolete and dying computer. Gaining abilities that reveal hidden areas, glitch enemies, propel you through small spaces, tether objects to you, allow you to ride through wires, and more. The game focuses on exploration and indirect combat, such as pu solving puzzles in order to trap enemies, using the jammer to glitch them into something different, or avoiding their sight. That is pretty much everything I could have asked for all at once, Parker. I need the computer. Don't bite! I need the keyboard! Hang on. I'm fighting a boss here. Parker. Not now. I need the keyboard. Alright. And let me just say, um, I absolutely love the skinny, freaky legs and the very smooth animations. Just gives them a really great look. So this is our weird, glitchy program of a protagonist. So... Current. Send a stream of data to tether electronic objects. So we've only got one thing we can use for now. So I guess this seems to be sort of like a Metroidvania-ish thing. Oh, so that's our first ability is to tether stuff. If you know me, I just absolutely love any sort of like purely digital world or like existential stuff applied to computer programs or AIs or stuff and anything like glitch chic or I don't know I never know what to call that but I just call it glitch chic and so we've got sort of a metroidvania map here is there a way to go to the right or left the exact opposite of right eh, not yet Marker's just laying on my right hand as I use the arrow keys. This is the sort of game I would love to use the Steam controller on, like to just map those few buttons, like those few keyboard keys, to the Steam controller and use it. But if you try to use the Steam controller for a non-Steam game, it's it just doesn't work. Oh, I see, we've got a choice. Well, let's go down first. Let's see what this monstrosity is. Oh. Are you a friend? Well, you're not hostile, at least. Um, it just, I tried it with Chocolate Doom, and um, it just completely didn't work. I really love this music, by the way. Uh, this game's by Madam Barry, you might have noticed that at the title screen. Um, she does tons of weird little alt games, and uh, we saw her work before Fragile Soft Machines. Um, she's got a patron that sort of like acts as a subscription to her games. What? Up. Oh, I don't think we were supposed to be seen by that. Can I... Oh, I can aim my little grapple thingy. So... Be free! Run free and prosper, my friend. Unless I wasn't supposed to do that. Is that a bad thing? I, I don't know. But we did it! No going back now. Pressing down sort of bumps you up. Metroid doors! Need some sort of jump ability. I just love any like spooky glitch scape stuff. I wish a lot more games had that sort of aesthetic and Got some spooky, bassy glitches going to the right. Very interested to see what's going on here. Alright, down is sort of the hop down, so I guess that does make sense. Why did I glitch there? I feel like these are just these little bits of floating data. Oh! 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 Okay. Okay. Okay, no. I don't think so. 
I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Okay, no. That's... We're just gonna find somewhere different to go. I seem to be hurt. What's this? What do I do with you? Are you the laser? Oh. Can I do something with you? Oh! I think I... Hmm. If I even live long enough. This... I think the floor is hurting me, so I'm not sure if this works. Ah, yeah, the floor was definitely hurting me. Okay, so the map station is also a save point. Alright, well, let's try going a different way. Barky. You're very much the opposite of helpful, you know that, Barker? Uh, yeah, if you have any recommendations of games, like, vaguely similar to the whole... Whoa. What was that on the left? There was a thing. You guys are not hostile, alright? Yeah, if you know any, like... I don't even know how to describe it, but, like... Oh. Excuse you. Like, other creepy digital world thingies, anything like this. Do recommend them. I've been sort of bad about reading my recommendations. What the? I hear the scary glitches again. Um. Eh? Okay. Hmm. That was strange. What's this? We can jump. Ugh. Jump. Okay, let's add that to. Uh, crap. How do I. Oh wait, is that automatic? We'll use it here. The jump cannot be equipped. Oh, okay. Maybe I should read things. Reading things helps sometimes. Ah, okay, we got a double jump. I know where we can use that. Aside from using it to escape. Oh, crap. <laughs> One classic as aspect of Metroidvania design is when you give a player a new item, you trap them in a room where they have to use that item to escape, just to make sure they know what the hell they're doing with it. It's a little simple, but highly effective. This is where I already came, is there? Is there something to the right, then? Oh, is that spooky sound just the laser stuff? I hoped it was something, like, more... Ominous. What is this? V. Hmm. So it just powered down part of the computer. That seems dangerous, but hey, it's some. Whoa! Oh god, what? How am I supposed to. Oh wait, this is that room again! did there, if anything. Can I trick it into lasering the box? Is that... Is that a valid thing to do? Well, it'll interrupt the laser, but that's all about all. There's at least one place we could use this double jump, so let's take a look for that. I love his creepy spindly legs. Oh, we got another save point, so... Hmm. <laughs> I see exits to things that aren't rooms, so on. Um... Let's just see if turning off the power did anything to this purple room. Nope. Still got that ominous sound, though. I just love any sort of, like... Glitchy sounds used properly. It can be... You can definitely make annoying sounds with glitchy... Huh? Like, maybe I need to turn the power back on? But first... Let's see if there's anything fancy we can do here. 
I don't think we ever figured out what, what the deal was with this guy. Did he lock the door or something? Oh, okay. Wait, that's the door we came from though, so that's not really very special. Anything over here? So I guess exploring Metroidvanias can be a little slow when you don't know what you're doing, but uh, I'm definitely enjoying the journey. Love these laser triangles we've got going on here. I definitely seem to need the power back on. In fact, <laughs> I'm not sure I needed the power off to begin with. Oh crap, right. I have a double jump. Oh, this isn't the place we were in before. Right, V. I kind of like this. It shows, this room shows you, you know. Okay, so when we're sighted, certain doors lock, but power off can avoid that. I like that little rooms that just teach you things about stuff. I'm digging this weird gloomy music. I like it a lot. Oop. I also rather like avoiding or doing things that aren't combat to enemies. I rather like, you know, just Anything to keep the approach to enemies interesting. Alright, now where was I supposed to go? <laughs> Alright, I know, I know where. We go... Oh wait, not here, okay. There's a jump downwards that I want to explore with a double jump, but I'm not... I don't remember where it was. I know there's at least one Metroid door we can get to, though. Alright, it was up here. I'm not sure where we fell from. So I can't seem to get any higher than pretty much the top of here. Alright, Metroid door. Also, I've seen many a CRT effect in my time. I'm not sure I've seen a an actual, actually I probably have, you know, actually showing the terminal on screen here. It makes sense, because we're inside of a dying computer, I guess, so, uh, that makes sense. Kind of embarrassing to talk about, but I actually have a story, sort of, or a novel sort of deal in progress that's, uh, about a whole digital world sort of thing. Not sure I'll ever finish it, I don't have the best track record on finishing stuff I write, but, uh, I do write rarely. I tend to end up thinking more than I write, so it's... I've got a very large amount of this general story where- oh god. Um, written down. Or not written down. The opposite of written down. In my head, but not written down. Um, it seems to have hurt me. I think that's like constant damage. I guess those sticks indicate what the hell is that. No, no, stop that. Um, excuse me. Found some manner of secret. There we go. We got triple jump. Can we? Interesting. It reminds me very much of a wall in Bunny Must Die. How do I get down? Okay. There's another- there's a wall in Bunny Must Die. I'm, it's probably not related at all, but it's- there's a spike pit- oh god. Okay, let me explain. There's a spike pit, and there's a wall. There's no reason to go there, because it's past the spike pit, and there's stuff above you you're supposed to go to. But uh, if you break that wall, you get a bunny doll, which is like a extra life in that game. Okay, what can I do with triple jump? I guess we haven't seen over here. What is this? Is this the, like the processor's fan or something? Hey, stop that! My body... Blah. No! I don't have my 
triple jump? I can't seem to check my stats, but... Oh well, we're kind of just outside of... Wait, are we? Where are we? I think the power is still off, which is bad. Crap, hang on, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back, but I might already be dead. I ended up going under that- oh my god, no. Why can you see that far? What the fuck?! Okay. That's fair. That's... reasonable. God. Okay. I just wanted to go under you. That's even- not sure that's even freaking possible! Son of a- okay. Still have my triple toe. Okay, be back, back again. Oh. This is not where I meant to go, but I saw a thing that I wasn't sure if I went to before. I think it was actually the... the weird object I saw. Um, I guess it was just another Metroid door. What we got here? Dash. Scrambles these data on our repel forward for a short time. Perhaps let's find that to Z current time. Through small spaces and transparent barriers. Whoa! Nice. Alrighty, I like this one. Not that there's anything wrong with double jump. I think I need triple jump to climb that. Alright, this will actually make getting double jump easier, or triple jump easier, I think. Yeah, it will. Definitely should have checked out the door before. Is, is there a save point? Yeah, I should have been not dumb and saved. Not used to the original Metroid era of not always having a map at my hands. Hmm. Alright. So. I guess now that I have dash, I can show you this without being too afraid. Nice! I really like this dash. This is very good. Um. Not 100% sure where to use it. Sorry for the jump cuts, I'm just super afraid of being boring on video. And with, um... How do I get down? Alright. With Metroidvanias, I think it's kind of a... No. Uh, somewhat reasonable concern, because, uh... You know, there's backtrack and all that stuff. Let's definitely save, now that we have both of those abilities. I'm not sure... quite what to do now. Uh, that's just- that's just a peak. I'm not sure what to call that, but like... I kinda like that, where there's like a peak at a future area and you're like, what the hell is that? Huh. Um... I just love... there's a lot already going on of Metroidvania games that I love in this, so I'm pretty excited by that. Cause like Well, one of the things I really love about Metroidvania games is just being able to see like future content and you can you can tell there's a shortcut or something cool over there. And there's that in anticipation. And there's also like just that whole moment where you obviously can't get somewhere, and so you can sort of tell, oh, there's some way to jump higher, or there's some way to get over there. I'm forgetting that I have three jumps now. It's not enough to get up there. I kind of do need a save point. I'm getting a little beat up. Hmm. Okay, let's try this. Not quite. Dang. Oh, there we go. This was the... Alright, I think we can go up here now. Two, three... It's gonna be risky. Ah, crap. Okay. I think I see what we need to do here. Ah. 
Oh, I should just dash first. Ooh. Danger. Danger, Will Robinson. Am I just not high enough? Hmm. Oh! No! I may need four jumps after all. do that without four jumps. Alright. Where else can I go? What are these benevolent thingerdealies? Oh! Right. No! Frick. Okay, I'll cut the video while I get back up there. Okay, I think this will work. No! It didn't work. Oh, duh. Obviously, you need the power out. Oh, crap. I found a bug. Um, I'm pretty good at that. Um. Dang. This is the demo version, of course. Just wanted to point out one little thing. See the face on those little dudes? I just wanna... Excuse me. Just wanna point out a little something. That area where we found with these weird things, those are the faces of those programs. That's like a little graveyard there. I just love little details like that where you don't really understand the morbidity of until later, and then you're like, oh damn. What's this? Speaking of morbidity, um... I guess I need a new power for this, too. Well then. Hmm. Um. Well, I guess I'm back to searching, then. The one thing I wanted to point out, if you didn't really get it from the intro, we are the termination program for this computer. And we... Basically, it looks like we're gonna kill this computer, which would also result in our own death. So, that's pretty grim, too. Um, not really sure what to do now. I guess I'll poke around again. One thing, uh, I really do hope this one comes up eventually and has, uh, controller support, or at least Steam control. Like, I managed to get Steam controller to work with non-Steam games, because the Eldest Arrow keying kind of giving my hand a cramp over here. Okay, I'll poke around and see if there's more to find. It is just a demo, but I do assume there's some finality to find here. Hold on, I'm dumb. I never even explored this. It only requires two things. Oh, no! There's a thing! I need that thing. Ah, that's another one of those good Metroidvania teases. Oh god, no! Okay. Very dangerous game. Like, wow. Hold! Hang on. I'm gonna go save nearby. Okay. Speaking of- and by save, I of course mean- oh god. Um... I of course mean... Huh? Oh, right. This is a thing. Um, I of course mean restore health, because you can't save right now in the demo. And regarding that little glitch earlier, um, if you think you want to play, be able to play games early, like press, uh, you, you kind of don't, honestly. Because um, you get a lot of that. Jammer. Guess that'll go on C. Here's the state of electronic signals. Oh, okay. Hidden files. Interesting. Also, you can open this at any time. Hidden files. I am very intrigued by hidden files. I love this. I love that. That is so cool. Look at that. Look at our little spindly legs! I love this. I need the full version of this game, like, right now. Look at that. 
All right. I'm really excited about this one, if you couldn't tell. It should be probably good. That box around the distortions, obviously, you know, probably gonna be fixed once there's a real release of this. This is just an alpha demo. Alright, so... I wonder if I don't even have to turn off the power now? If I can just... Tell that sentinel to screw off? Oh, hang on, I gotta use it on this guy. What's it do? What the f... What? 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 Okay. Note to self, do not do that under any circumstance. Okay. I thought it would, like, break him, not make way more of hostile things. I'm scared to see what that'll do to... Oh, no, I still gotta power it off. Okay, hang on, I'm gonna turn off the power. I used the disruptor on that guy, and now he's firing everywhere. Very rapidly. Okay, I know this is a bad idea, but... Yeah, bad idea. This game's now reminded me of Axiom Verge in a lot of ways, and that's that is a good thing. Axiom Verge is one of my favorites of this year. Okay. Crap. Wait, is the power off? The power doesn't look off. Oh crap, I forgot to turn off the power. I'm so stupid. Hold on. This is why I'm taking I'm doing cuts. Alright, here we are. And this is just kind of what the first run of any Metroidvania pretty much is like, you know, there's there's going to be a lot of stumbling around. I kind of don't want to show too much stumbling, but I also want you to see the game as it, you know, really is. Okay, what's your... oh, you're just a door closer. Excuse me! Okay, I'm going to regret this, but... Eh? Get back here. Oh, it does work. I kind of like that there's a thing that you don't want to use on enemies. I can't turn it off? It's a bold move, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off. What are you? What are those? I got Parker all excited. turned on power yet, just to see what this thing was like without power. Oh. Oops. What's that do? Did I power you or depower you or something? Oh, you got a security system now. Can I? Oop, oop, oop! Okay, don't fall down. Oop. Oh god, what the f- How is that fair? How is that fair? That is not fair. I- I- I call hacks. Okay, hopefully we can live long enough to- Okay. Okay, untether. Okay, now that I can see him, I think I can slip past. But dang, he is really protective of his thing. What now? Why are there more? I <laughs> want out of this hell. <laughs> oh god. And this thing's still locked. Did that? Did they break? Why did they break? They broke! Well, not that one. Well, that raised more questions than answers. Go away! That room is obviously important, but I don't get... Please don't, don't tell me I have to redo everything. Why is this still closed? Or hey! Wait. I can stand on those? Uh oh. But 
for what purpose? Hey, can I tether? Can't tether. Can I glitch? Not to avail. More security. Okay, I was probably just missing the part where I can climb on these. Ugh. Oh, good. Good. Good, good. Excellent, nice. Okay, this one's safer. Unless that's a laser dude. Okay, no, it's not. These guys are very manageable. I, I'm fine with those. But the laser dudes... Laser dudes, no! Okay, sorry. Okay, maybe, did I not pull that all the way over or something? So what does it do? They all popped after a while, but I don't... I don't know what that means. Do I glitch? Do I dare glitch the green one? I know it'll kill me. Do I power it then? Okay, I cannot unpower it. Huh? See, they all die, but the door is still locked, so I don't get it. Well, not all of them. What's special about you? get it at this point. Wait, unless I have to keep redoing it? I didn't realize that it was deactivated. Unless I have, like, limited time to access the door? Okay, let's just be fast. Did that sound mean something bad? I'm confused, but we've learned something important about the- huh? Do I need to just keep reactivating it, or- I, I don't know, I'm very puzzled here. I can't just get past this with this, can I? I, I doubt it, but I'd, be very, I'd feel very stupid if I could. No. Now they all destructed again, so I should get some health. And then it beeped again. I really don't get it. I can't tell if I'm making progress by resetting these or not. Alright, you know what? It seems like a terrible idea, but it's the only thing I can think to do. So, once we activate this, we're gonna glitch that green dude. I'm almost certain this will end in calamity for everyone involved, but... Uh... Oh, they're damaging the, la the thing! No, but I died! Crap. I figured it out that I died. Okay, hold on. Let's get to the... No. Okay. I'll be right back. Alright. Let's do this. Glitch! Alright, 
Now I just have to hope that I heal and it doesn't. Alright, I guess you don't need to watch this recycle. Alright. Let's try this again. That almost stumped me, but I liked it. Makes you use your noggin. Okay. Hmm. How to hurt it without super dying. Those don't seem to kill me as fast as usual. Okay, that's not doing it. And they're dead again. I can't tell if I'm dealing real damage to this. Hmm. Well, I'll keep at it. Will the third time be the charm? Maybe if they actually shot lasers in the direction of the core? There we go! You're dead now. Let's reap, reap our sweet reward. I figured that would be the end of the demo. Oof. It's a bit long, but I wanted to show all of it. So yeah, her patron sort of acts like as a subscription to her game, so... If you want to see more cool, weird stuff, check her out. And she's also fairly active on Twitter. Well, somewhat active. Not as active as me. I'm ridiculously active. So yeah, that is the Visual Out demo. Very excited to see what the full game ends up as. Oof. He stumped me a couple times, but I prevailed.